Okay, here is a new 1 350th scale naval model video from Jeff Head. And this one is a U.S. Navy Surface Action Group, or as its acronym is, a SAG. Uh, a SAG is a group of surface action or surface combatants that can be sent in harm's way. Uh, either to show the flag, but mainly uh, to make a statement about naval warfare uh, wherever needed, or uh, to go and fight. This would be a surface action group of the future. It includes two FFGX frigates that are being designed and will be decided on this year between uh, four or five offerings. I expect this offering, which is the Lockheed Martin FFGX offering to win the competition. Uh, the center of this group is a Burke Flight 2A class Aegis Destroyer. And then we have two upgraded littoral, littoral combat ships, uh, or perhaps even the uh, FF class of 20 vessels that are being planned, but I put the up-armed littoral combat ships, but one Freedom class and one Independence class that have been upgraded with new missiles and uh, the new sensors and weapons. As you can see, one of them is an Independence class that I've added uh, 16 VLS uh, missiles to, as well as the Naval Strike missiles. The Freedom class there also has the Naval Strike missiles, uh, VLS cells. Uh, each of them can carry two helicopters. As you can see on this Independence class, we have uh, two Seahawks as well as a vertical unmanned aerial vehicle. Uh, makes them very capable in terms of anti-submarine warfare in addition to the towed array they carry. The same is true of the uh, Freedom variant. As you can see, there's a Seahawk and a vertical launch unmanned vehicle. And of course, the Burke class with its 96 VLS, its 5-inch gun, its two uh, helicopters, towed array sonar, large bow mounted sonar, as well as its very capable Aegis uh, radars. A very capable ship, and of course those 96 VLS cells can carry tomahawks of all varieties, including the anti-shipping variety, which is the Tomahawk 4, as well as the new long-range anti-surface missiles. So I expect in a group like this, they would be amply outfitted with anti-shipping missiles, 8 to 16 probably, uh, leaving 80 missiles available for anti-air, of which I would expect 8 to 16 to be evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, which are mid-range missiles out to 30 to 50 miles, as well as uh, standard missiles, which can go all the way out to... Uh, the upper atmosphere if necessary. I would expect that they would have uh, 72 ESSMs and then another 40 uh, standard missiles at least. Then you have of course the the FFGX which carries its gun, the Norwegian uh, naval strike missile or uh, maybe the joint strike missile upgrade. Uh, it's 16 VLS cells, which could be upgraded to 32, and I wish they would just go ahead and build them with 32. would make them very capable. This, this vessel is also meant to have a laser weapon system for anti-air combat, 24 VLS cells for Hellfire missiles, two 30mm cannons, and a CRAM, excuse me, a CRAM, uh, missile launcher for close-in work. Each of them carries one 
mid-size helicopter and one uh, UAV, vertical launch UAV. So there you have it, a futuristic surface action group. I've got five ships in this group and uh, they would be a very capable force to reckon with. Other countries that can produce very potent surface action groups, and I will make videos of them as well, are the Chinese, the Russians, the Japanese, the Koreans, and uh, various uh, European groups, the Germans, the Norwegians, uh, the UK, of course, the French, and others. But this is a United States Navy surface action group in one 350th scale uh, with the new vessels as seen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.